Hey, it's your old pal Lucid Stew again. This time we're going to take a look at optimizing the RDO character from the new Dreams Ancient Times art kit. Since we'll be using RDO to construct our RDO Jones content, I'm going to use my Lost Valley of the Ancients Unlit set as a backdrop. And we're in. Let's grab RDO from the Dreamiverse and start hacking off Graphics Thermo. RDO is a little expensive in standard form at 4% gameplay and 19% graphics. In a large setting like this, that serves to limit how dynamic we can make the space, so let's free up a few resources. RDO is made up of quite a few pieces with lots of paintings and, and lots of small detail. Some of that will never be seen and is not really necessary outside of extreme close-ups during cutscenes. These little patches on the shoulders can go. You won't see them unless this is your shot, and it never will be. For RDO Jones specifically, we're going to replace this back detail with a rucksack by Lady Lex UK, so we can delete the bone, string, sculpt, and the connector. We'll keep the rest of the sculpts that comprise RDO and try to gain some headroom by reducing sculpture detail. On small details like the mouth, pay close attention while reducing detail because the shape can change dramatically at a certain point. The white of the eye is a very tight sculpture with plenty of room to reduce, but we have to be aware of the interaction between it and the sculpt that makes up the iris. We want that junction to remain crisp. My general philosophy for this type of reduction is to try and match looseness between different sculpts, but I keep the two scale setting check to, re to remain aware of what I'm getting for the price. I'm doing the same thing for the cowl of her costume, and you can see me comparing flex sizes with the neighboring sculpt right here. Once you get a few things loosened up, the ones that are still tight will really start to pop like these rings in Ardeo's ears. And we're still going. Since they're quite small, you can loosen up the hands a lot, but pay attention to the detail to avoid webbing, like here, in case you need to highlight these in a cutscene. The snout is ripe for improvement, but has an interesting feature. Some of the shading detail is created by painting with looseness, and that can change in unexpected ways while changing sculpture detail. The difference is subtle but can change the character of the face from certain angles, so at a minimum just be careful about changing sculpture detail when you run into things like this. Back to matching flex sizes, first on the ear part of the cowl, which is close, and then the ear itself, which can be reduced a lot. The eyebrow and eyelid are like the mouth, a long thin shape that can change shape very quickly, so be careful. That's the basic idea for the head, so continue finding things you've missed and reduce down to similar size, taking care to watch for special cases. RDO has a lot of small details created by sculpts. Keeping the at scale indicator on for the reduction tool helps highlight those, or at least the difference between them and surrounding sculpts so you can see when things are made from separate sculptures. After the head is done, the main place we're going to find excessive graphics cost is in these little details that are much tighter than they need to be. The arms and legs are already fairly reduced. Your main objective there will be to match up the flex size just to stay consistent. It's a good idea to pay attention to the joints and make sure you don't end up with any weirdness there. I'm looking at RDO from a little bit of a distance and seeing some graininess between the white of the eye and the iris. We've reduced cost quite a bit, so let's make a decision to go back in, tighten those up a little, and claw back that detail. We're going to utilize some of our savings to add a safari hat and rucksack, thereby creating the RDO Jones character. I made this hat specifically for this character in the Ancient Times style. Graphics cost is 2%. The rucksack for the back is by Lady Lex UK, also fairly low cost. The end result is a reduction in graphics cost from 19% to 11%, and that's what I use in my RDO Jones content. However, it's important to keep your camera in mind when reducing sculpture detail, so we're going to reduce specifically for RDO's cam, which is at, a, at about this distance. All those details we worked on before, we're going to bring them way down and we're not going to be so concerned with small details because you will not be able to see them. 
As we go, it'll start looking rough up close, but that is not relevant for a third person camera unless you need close ups for your cutscenes. When you're short on resources, these are the things you should be thinking about. I don't need this for cutscene close ups so I can cut another 2 or 3%, or I do need this for cutscene close ups so I need to plan the environment better or find something in the environment I can adjust. As before, our main concern should be matching flex size between the various sculpts that make up our character. However, shape and detail are not a concern at this kind of camera distance. If something deforms, it doesn't matter. Reduce away. Just bringing the legs down and then I'll bring the 11% Audio Jones version into the scene and we'll compare side by side. And you can't tell the difference from this distance. I defy you to tell the difference. Even when we move in closer, the difference is only apparent in the trouble spots I was talking about, the whites of the eyes and the joints. When you move way in, the difference is obvious, but this type of reduction is not meant for anything that will be viewed close up. The final verdict is 7% graphics. That is a 12% reduction over the original and 4% reduction over our optimized version. One interesting thing about reducing sculpture detail is that you can reduce too much from a thermal standpoint. Right here I continue pushing trying to bring the thermal down and it actually goes up. What I figured out at some point was that the sweet spot for sculpture detail reduction is 8 reductions below default detail when you lay a sculpt down without changing any settings. That line is about impossible to know especially on a sculpture someone else made the main thing is to keep in mind that you can reduce too much. Right here I'm deleting the hat and rucksack just to see how far Ardeal will go. The answer is roughly 6% so do not worry about getting it lower than that. We have Ardeal all done and ready for our scene. The video coming up will be about dropping a super easy cutscene into your content. Very useful for bringing static content to life. So I'll see you next time.